the military police, just like in Hearts of Iron 3, they're only good for suppression. But these guys are actually very good. So they are gonna be part of my divisions for sure. If I had known these guys had so much soft attack, I would be using them by now. It reduces the organization quite a lot, but still. Shit ton of defense, plenty of breakthrough. Welcome to my divisions, MP. So I have field hospital to reduce the casualties. I mean to have casualty trickle back. Maintenance company to read to increase the reliability of the equipment to minimize the losses. Support anti tank for the piercing artillery. Engineers for defense. And some soft attack too. Okay, they have no place in my breakthrough divisions. Let's check. I don't remember which kind of division am I using. These guys are the line infantry. Yeah, I probably don't have... I, I, unfortunately, I don't have space for them. It's all important. The engineers provide also um, lots of soft attack, defense, breakthrough, artillery, support anti-tank, it's needed for the piercing and some hard attack. The maintenance company is hugely important to reduce the equipment losses. Maybe I could remove the field hospital, but that's saving me manpower. So yeah, Good night, Marvok. See you later. Thanks for joining me and uh, the good wishes. Yeah, nice to know that MPs are not actually useless beyond... And uh, yeah, we're preparing for um, to go beat up Germany. Let's see how that goes. It looks like... I don't have enough divisions. Let's send them back. Reorganize this stuff. In the meantime, we are building some stockpiles of equipment. We now need less artillery. We now are self-sufficient. I mean, we have enough infantry equipment. Even though most is obsolete. We're catching up with regard to support equipment. We're catching up with regard to the need for tanks. That's gonna take a while. Two hundred and seventy-eight days. Catching up with the anti-tanks. They're still bombing the shit out of my factories, or probably this is the resistance. I guess we need more cavalry. Cavalry seems to be the, the brigades with the highest suppression. Luckily, we have manpower for to do this. This is still yellow, but I don't see almost red 
It's almost gone. So the resistance is still growing. Let's change the policies. I know we can do that. Over here. So we're being gentle. Let's be the gentlest to reduce the the resistance growth. Maybe this will give us a break with regard to the factories. Or I can simply dump more cavalry into this. Let's wait just a little bit. Maybe the effect is over time. These guys still need to reinforce. They are at half strength. So before we make uh, any more changes to the division setup, let's see what happens after they reinforce. They fully reinforce. We have 73 divisions. So this is roughly two province, two two divisions per province. But first I need to get rid of the headquarter. The role for this dude is just to hold the line. is asking isn't uh, Turkey in the axis? I don't think so, but I can check. Let me just finish this. We are facing them from two different positions. Anyway, let's let's leave two divisions over there. We have a river, so it's gonna be very difficult for the for these dudes to break our line. It's also gonna be very difficult for us to punch through. Yep, they're in the axis. So we need to we need to put some divisions here. We already have some. Thanks, Perfil. I'm sure I'm murdering your name, but that's the best that I can do, I guess. Okay, we are actually getting rid of the Resistance.
Looks like the effect is over time. Resistance daily growth 0.5. So this is basically like the um, rebel factions in U4, where they reach they reach a certain progress. When they reach a certain progress, the conditions for the unrest to continue are gone. They will start dwindling at 10% uh, per per month. Looks like this is similar. Over here is still growing. We have more than enough, actually more, much more. Where there is still growing, there is still growing. So let's grab some more. Let's deploy another cavalry. If this was the previous previous version, I could detach a brigade from here and send it over there. No, I can't. So it makes sense to actually do single single brigades divisions to avoid wasting resources. Some places have the need for higher suppression than other places. Good to know. But I guess I'm gonna waste now because I I need these these points. So let's recruit some more cavalry. Corex is asking. And let's address first Supercom Crafter. Supercom Crafter is asking, because he asked first, of course, is there a way of increasing my army experience when in peace? Yeah, we c you can tell them to train. So if I wanted these guys to gain experience, I would tell them to exercise. They would train up to regular statues. That would provide them plus 25% experience. Kores is asking, do you think a campaign like your... Man in the High Castle campaign would be doable in Hearts of Iron 4? Yeah, absolutely. It's actually easier to do it in Hearts of Iron 4. I think. The main the main block for expansion in this game is the lack of manpower. Of course, industry matters, but you at some point you, you can have a shit ton of industry. But if you don't have manpower, you're dead, so you won't go very far. So, uh, countries with uh, lots of population, starting population, can conquer the world uh, much easier than, in my opinion, from what I've seen, than in the previous game. However, small countries with small population like, for example, Albania, they have 1 million. <clears throat> they, will, they will have like um, two, 250,000 recruitable population eventually. After they're gone, you're, you're screwed. Because each territory we conquer gives us only 2% of the, that um, territory, that states population so yeah needless to say that you won't unless you have if you start small and somehow you manage to conquer like 500 million people worth of states then you can conquer the world but uh, <laughs> the thing is how the hell are you gonna conquer 500 million people with 200k army, not sure. Of course, there are. Ireland just I just joined the the allies. 
of course if I go with um, different policy I can have a little bit more like this one I think or this one one of these uh, gives us more population and we can grab some more recruitable population using these so going with this um, mass assault doctrine we can grab some more population with national focuses at least um, as a small country I don't see it here am I blind or what? yeah I probably don't have it so, so but as a small country say I was playing as Belgium or Ireland. We can grab more recruitable population as a small country by going this this route. Another five percent over there, another two percent, and of course, so that's uh, twelve percent on top. of this so that's 37% uh, so a country with a country with 1 million people would um, have an army with 370k which is not uh, huge and that's all that you can grab and that's all that you can grab so that's not much to try to conquer the world as for example Albania and needless, needless to say that that um, this 5% come very late because these doctrines take a shit ton of time to uh, research anyway let's play Sorry again to keep you waiting, but whenever the phone rings, I have to answer these days because it might be about a job. I'm thinking my troops are good enough to hold the line here, but I might be wrong. And if I'm wrong, it's gonna suck. Dea is very um, invasion happy, which is fine I guess, but it's very demanding on the manpower. And not only manpower, also equipment. The two garrison, all those ports. I have 146 divisions holding ports. Okay, we're now at war with um, Ireland. Big deal. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna promote these dudes to my best vision line. river over there so they're gonna be protected gonna do the same with these dudes over here they're green 
but um, they will be able to fight. I think my strongest opponent is Germany, so I need to focus on them. Then I can quickly uh, defeat Turkey. I'm researching the G6 company. But I might not uh, use it. I guess we'll see. This is the fastest way to make one regiment, an extra regiment, to bring a regiment over there, an extra regiment. These lines are really stretched. I need to. I need to capture this river line uh, quickly but this is weak 